find freedom with purpose. Yeah. What does that even mean? I mean, do we, which comes first? The purpose? What, what comes first? Are the, like, are we, some people believe we're, we are born and then we have to find our purpose? Is it something we have to look for? You know, that's a big question when you look at what's your purpose. Um, is to, well, why am I, how did I get here? Where am I from? What am I, what am I? Who am I? And when you access, that, that comes back to the topic of self-actualization that we started with, where, you know, today, behavioral psychologists <laughs> clearly right out told me they don't believe in that, that they don't believe it's possible when it's the root cause of health in Ayurveda, and it's the root, root of knowing your purpose. How do you know a purpose if you don't know who you are, if you don't know where you came from? I think understanding your technology, like we've been, the inner technology of your dosha, your elements, that shows you your physical and mental tendencies. Physical and mental is physical plane. But isn't there a part of you watching all of that? That's just this pure awareness. That's the consciousness. That's divinity. You know, if you pray to God, you know, you may think it's a guy wearing a hat with a beard up in the sky, or, you know, that represents divinity. And when you tap into that, purity of the mind being quiet, the ego being quiet, what's left? What's left is divinity. You merge with it. You know, it's all the obstacles that get in the way and block us from merging that A, cause us imbalance in our health, mentally, physically, and it blocks us off from our true purpose. It blocks us off from that deep connection. So that connection is available wherever you are, anywhere. You're connected.